Have you ever made one formatting change in your document only to see that change applied to every other paragraph in the document? If so, you'll want to watch this video as you can fix this odd behavior rather quickly. Perhaps you've had this happen to you. You're typing along and you decide that you need to make a formatting change in your document. In this particular case, you want to format a particular paragraph as bold. So you go ahead and you select the paragraph and then you click on the bold tool on the home tab of the ribbon. And all the paragraphs in your document change to bold, not just the one that you selected. Or you apply some other paragraph level formatting and the formatting is applied to all the paragraphs in your document instead of just the one that you selected. When this happens, it's easy to start thinking that Word is possessed. If this happens to you, you can press Control Z right away and Word reverses its action. Continually pressing Control Z is a pain, however. It's much better to understand the cause of the problem, then you can make the changes that you need. I'm going to go ahead and press Control Z one more time to get rid of that bold that's on that paragraph. Here's the key to understanding. You have to understand that formatting in Word is based on styles. Even if you don't know what styles are, or have made a conscious decision to never use styles, they are still there, working in the background. Every paragraph in your document is based on an underlying style that defines how that paragraph appears on the page. Period. There is no way around it in Word. With this tidbit firmly understood, the next time you get a global change when you only wanted to affect a single paragraph, then you just have to follow a few steps and you'll get be able to figure out what's going on. First of all, go ahead and press Ctrl Z like we did to undo the global change. And with the insertion points still in the paragraph that you formatted, or the paragraph that's completely selected like we have on the screen, Make sure that the home tab of the ribbon is displayed and click the small arrow that appears next to the styles group right here. When I press that, then I see the styles pane appear on the screen. Notice that one of these styles has a box around it. That's the style that's applied to the paragraph in which the insertion point is located or to the paragraph that's selected, like we have it selected on the screen here. What I want to do though, is I want to hover the mouse over that particular uh, style. And notice that there's a down arrow that then appears at the right side of that style. I'm going to click on that down arrow. It displays a context menu and I'm going to click on modify. That displays the modify style dialog box. Now take a good look at the dialog box. At the bottom, there's a checkbox labeled Automatically Update. If this checkbox is selected, it means that whenever you make changes to the formatting of the paragraph in your document, those changes are automatically made to the style that's assigned to the paragraph. Once that change is automatically made, then every other paragraph in your document that is formatted using the same style is automatically changed as well. Now, if you're a person that ignores styles completely or who thinks you don't need to worry about them, this is where you can get into trouble. In most cases, Word uses the normal style as the default style for paragraphs in a document. Fortunately, Word doesn't provide an automatically update checkbox for the normal style. But if your document is using some other style for the basis for the paragraphs in your document, like we are in this document, and the automatically update checkbox is selected, like it is in this style, it is guaranteed that you will experience the problems described at the beginning of this video. To solve this problem, you need to display the modify style dialog box like we've done right here. Then all you have to do is clear the automatically update checkbox down here. And then you want to go ahead and select the new documents based on this template option right there. 
that makes sure that this change that you're making to this style is propagated to any other documents that are based upon the template uh, that is being used for this document. And then when you go ahead and click on OK, then you're back to your document. And I'm going to go ahead and dismiss this styles pane here. We still have this paragraph that's selected within the document. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this bold tool right up here. Remember what happened a few moments ago. Everything in the document changed. But now if I click on it, it changes just this one, this one paragraph that I had selected. We turned off that option, that automatically update option within the definition of the style, and therefore it does not apply it to the other paragraphs that use this style within the document. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it will help you avoid frustration in formatting your documents. If you did enjoy it, consider clicking the subscribe button below along with the bell icon. When you do, YouTube will alert you when any new videos are added to the WordTips channel. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today.